Welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. It's the 6th of April 2022 and I'm Nikki Oshini bringing you the weekly dose of blockchain news. Coming up, the Nigerian Bar Association embraces blockchain and cryptocurrency. CBN to penalize banks for violating crypto trading ban. Binance US completed a seed round of more than $200 million. Near Protocol raised $350 million. Sky Mavis raised $150 million. Binance Labs announces strategic investment in Stepin. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. The Nigerian Bar Association Ikeja branch, with its Committee on Continuous Legal Education and Practice Development, CLEPID, and in conjunction with a and Forensics, recently held a two-day seminar in Ikeja, Lagos State, with the theme Changing Times, Expanding the Frontiers of Legal Knowledge and Practice. The event featured topics and panel discussions on investigating and tackling cryptocurrency fraud, blockchain legal advisory, principles of sentencing, and Nigerian Lawyers Toolkit. The event had in attendance various notable lawyers, judges, representatives from the Nigerian Police Force, Economic Financial Crimes Commission, and blockchain experts. Some notable guests include Femi Falano SAN, Victor Opara SAN, Adedeji Owonibi, Senator Inheyen, Bartholomew Agwebudu. The goal of the event was to sensitize and educate key players in the Nigerian legal sector and law enforcement agencies on some of the limitless possibilities the blockchain technology presents and how it can be leveraged to make processes more efficient and safe. Speaking at the event, senior partner at a and Forensics, Adedeji expressed his excitement that legal practitioners and law enforcement agencies are looking into blockchain and cryptocurrency and how it affects their practices. I'm super excited that today we have legal practitioners looking into the things that are happening around blockchain and crypto and how it affects their practices, you know, because it's a whole lot of, uh, it's a new thing, it's emerging, and uh, they believe that everything is shifting from their normal traditional practice to what it should be now around ICO, around blockchain, around cryptocurrency. So it's great that I'm seeing these discussions. I saw judges talking about it, how, you know, evidence will be admitted and all that. So it's fantastic. You have the people, law enforcement agents from EFCC, the blockchain people were all contributing. The, so it's a fusion. In addition, the chairman of the CLEPT committee, Victor Para SAN, disclosed that times are changing and lawyers need to key into blockchain and cryptocurrency to provide legal advisory and crypto legislation. Because of the change in times, we decided to put together a seminar that will be very beneficial to lawyers. Because times are changing, lawyers need to actually keep a present events and to so that they can position themselves for the practical realities of today's events. If you know very well now, you know cryptocurrency and blockchain technology is the intent now. So we want to ensure that how do lawyers key in into this a uh, new trend. How do lawyers advise clients in respect of cryptocurrency legislations and all like legislations? The Central Bank of Nigeria has fined several banks for failing to comply with rules that prohibit customers from trading cryptocurrencies. The penalties are part of the Central Bank's efforts to ensure that commercial lenders implement a February 2021 ban to stop stealth transactions which the central bank believes poses a threat to Nigeria's financial system. Stambik IBTC Bank, a domestic subsidiary bank of Standard Bank Group Limited, has been fined 200 million naira by CBN. This was because two of their accounts were accused of being used for cryptocurrency transactions. Also, the country's largest bank by asset, Access Bank PLC, has been fined 500 million naira for failing to close customers' crypto accounts, according to a Nigerian exchange filing. United Bank for Africa PLC also said that a customer's digital currency transactions resulted in a fine of 100 million naira. Binance US announced the completion of a seed round of more than 200 million dollars with a pre-money valuation of 4.5 billion dollars. The new financing will help Binance US expand its sports trading platform. It will have new features and products soon to be launched as well as new customer education programs. Also, Near Protocol has announced the completion of a $350 million financing led by Tiger Global. Others who invested were Republic Capital, FTX Ventures, Hashed, and Dragonfly Capital. The new financing will be crucial in accelerating the decentralization of the Near ecosystem. Binance announced that Sky Mavis, the development company of Axie Infinity, has announced a $150 million financing round. The new funding will be used to compensate users' funds affected by the running attack. 
The running network will be opened after security upgrades and several audits, which may take several weeks. Binance also opened the Ether USDC deposit and withdrawal businesses, allowing most users to deposit and withdraw. All individual users can withdraw funds once the running network bridge is turned on. And finally, Binance Labs announced a strategic investment in the move to earn application step in. Bill Kwan, head of Binance Labs, said this. As the move to earn is taking a part of the Web3 trend, Stepin is contributing with the fast growth of the users. Stepin previously announced the completion of a $5 million seed round on January 20th. And that's it for the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, visit our website CryptoTVPlus.com. Also follow us on our social media, Facebook and Twitter at Crypto TV Plus to get daily info on our programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification button as well. And just in case you have questions regarding any of our news, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'm Nikki Oshini. Until next time.